The problem of inverse kinematics, posing a character based on a few handle constraints, is inherently under constrained. There are usually many poses that satisfy a given set of constraints. However, only a few of those poses will appear natural. We present an inverse kinematic system based on learned models of human poses. Given some example motion data, we learn an objective function over the space of all poses. Then given new constraints from an animator, we can generate very natural looking poses in real time. We learn the likelihood for poses using a model called an SGP LVM. We demonstrate this model on the poses in this baseball pitch motion. The model learns a low dimensional representation of the space of poses, shown here as a 2D plot. Each of the original training poses is indicated by a plus sign. The current synthesized pose in the space is represented by the large green point. Every point in the 2D space corresponds to a full body pose. The animator can specify new poses by applying constraints to the character. The most likely pose in the model will be selected based on these constraints. Alternatively, the animator may select locations in the 2D style window to pose the character directly. These interaction methods can also be used together. The animator can specify handle constraints on the character and then drag in the 2D space. To generate the space from the training poses, the SGP LVM learns a probability distribution function, or PDF, over the training data. The function is illustrated here by a grayscale image. Light areas have high likelihood, and dark areas have low likelihood. When the animator specifies constraints on the pose, the algorithm searches for a pose which has the highest likelihood given the constraints. The red points represent the active set of data points in the model. Here we show the likelihood function for a jump shot. Again, the model learns a smooth arrangement of the poses and a smooth likelihood function. Note that the algorithm has placed similar poses from different parts of the sequence near each other in the 2D space. This lets us easily interpolate between these similar poses and indicates that these poses are more plausible. When we move away from the poses in the model, style IK extrapolates reasonably. We can also visualize the likelihood function as a height field in 3D. Note that the highest ridges are near the original training data points, and the function falls away smoothly from these ridges. Multiple trained motions can be included in the same model. Here we show a model trained on the jump shot and pitching motions together. We get a smooth space that includes both motions, and the animator can constrain the character to generate poses from either one. We now show several applications that take advantage of style-based inverse kinematics. Here we simulate a motion capture system which provides joint angles from 3D marker data collected in real time. Markers specified as constraints are shown in white. We learn the PDF from the initial part of the motion capture sequence, and then we use the style IK to reconstruct the rest of the motion while simulating the loss of several of the markers. We first remove all the markers from the arm. The arm's joint angles are still faithfully reconstructed. The reconstruction also does not degrade significantly when we remove markers from the entire upper body. Even in this extreme case, in which only the foot markers are present, the system continues to generate reasonable poses based on the trained model. The PDF representation of style allows for straightforward interpolation between different styles. In this example, we show three catching styles, an upright style and a crouching style generated from training data, and a third style generated by interpolating the first two. Interpolation also allows us natural transitions between different styles. Here, using only foot constraints to drive the animation, we see smooth transitions between three different styles of walking by varying the weighting between the models. We created a test animation framework where the animator keyframes a minimal set of paths of different body points. In this example, the feet and right hand were constrained using keyframes and the rest of the pose is automatically synthesized using style IK. The large yellow points demonstrate the trajectory control points for the hand. By changing these control points, the animator can quickly change the motion. Here we change from an overhand pitch to a natural looking sidearm throwing motion by changing only the hand constraints. Here's the final animation. Alternatively, the animator can keep the constraints and alter the motion by changing the style. Here we're changing from a catcher style catch to a fielding catch using the same set of constraints. In this application, we compute a 3D character pose from 2D body points and a style selected by the user. In this first example, a walking style was chosen. Here we use a jump shot style to generate a basketball pose. Each line constraint forces the body point to project to the corresponding 2D point in the image. 
For each of these images, we were able to successfully reconstruct the pose by specifying a very small number of constraints and using style IK to complete the pose.